Hi guys, so I'm gonna show you how to make these amazing biscuits that give me red lobster biscuit vibes. Like the texture of them, it's they're just, they're so good. They're a little crispy on the outside and super soft and tender on the inside. And they only take 20 minutes to make, literally from measuring out the ingredients to the time that you're eating them, 20 minutes. They're so quick, so easy, and they're only six ingredients. So let me show you. Okay, so the six ingredients you're gonna need are all-purpose flour, baking powder, cornstarch, milk, oil, and salt. Now I'm using olive oil and I'm using fat-free skim milk. You can use any oil you like and you can use any milk that you like. I use skim milk because it makes them less um, calorie dense, less fatty, and olive oil is good for you, so I use olive oil. Now they come out best when you use room temperature ingredients. So you wanna pour the milk out and you want it to sit for about 20, 30 minutes to come to room temperature and it's three quarters cup of milk. Measure out your dry ingredients. You wanna make sure that you sift everything together. A, so you don't have clumps and B, so everything is well combined. So I have this vintage little sifter. So I just put everything in there. I'll give you a view inside. Okay, so you need one and three quarter of a cup of flour. So put a cup of flour in there. And then I like to put the baking powder on top and then I put the rest of the flour. I don't know why I do it that way. <laughs> so I do four teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, three, four. So that's four teaspoons of baking powder. And then you wanna do a quarter cup of cornstarch. Okay, quarter cup of cornstarch. I'm gonna do the three quarters cup all-purpose flour. I did one cup of flour, now I'm gonna put the rest of the flour right on top. One, two, and three. And now we're gonna get this all sifted. So you just pick it up by the handle. And then just bang it so it goes down to the bottom. There we go. Oh yeah, it did a little thing. Yeah, it's like a little wheel inside that turns. All right, good job. The only other thing we need to add is a teaspoon of salt. You're gonna sprinkle in a teaspoon of salt, just like that. You just get a fork. Just get a fork and mix that in, the salt. All right. Okay, and now set the dry ingredients aside for a little bit. And you are gonna take your three quarters cup of milk and to the milk, you are gonna add a quarter cup of oil. I just use olive oil. All right, so we have three quarters cup of skim milk and a quarter cup of olive oil. Just like that. All right, we have the dry ingredients mixed. We have the oil and the milk mixed. So now you're gonna get your cast iron skillet. You could do these on a baking sheet with parchment paper if you want. Um, but they come out really good in the cast iron skillet. So what you wanna do is grease your cast iron skillet. I'm just using olive oil. Just like that. Just get the brush. 
and you want to get the sides too. All right. Okay, so we have this ready. Save the brush because you can go an extra step when the biscuits are done and you can make a little bit of garlic oil and brush it on top or you can do garlic butter if you want. So I'm gonna put this over here, save that for later. Okay, so now you're just gonna take your milk and oil and you're gonna pour all of it right into the dry ingredients just like that. And then you're gonna get a fork and just start combining the liquid with the dry. And you're just mixing it to make sure that there's no flour sitting there dry. You want everything mixed really well. And that's it. Once it comes together and there's no more flour, white flour, then you're done. You don't need to sit there kneading this or anything like that. These are so simple. Then you're going to get your greased cast iron skillet. Or if you don't have one, just use a baking sheet with some parchment paper. And you're going to get a tablespoon. And you're just going to take blobs of dough and just drop it right into the pan. Um, and this is going to make 14 biscuits. If you make 14 biscuits and you have a little extra, just take the dough and spread it out evenly until you have 14 evenly sized biscuits. You don't need to roll them in a ball. And it's actually better if you don't roll them in a ball because then the edges get a little browned and a little extra crispy and it makes them that much more delicious. Plus they look nice and rustic and that's it. So just keep getting tablespoons of dough, just drop it in the pan and you don't need to do anything else. So I had a little bit of dough left over, so I'm just breaking it up and making, just dropping it on top of some of the biscuits that happen to be a little smaller. And that's it. Perfect. Simple. Easy. These don't really spread, so you don't have to worry about it if they're touching a little bit or if there isn't much space. They're going to get a little fluffier, rise a little bit, browned a little bit, but they're not going to spread. Okay, so that is going to go in the oven at 450 for about 12 minutes. Check them if you want them a little more brown. Just leave them an extra two or three minutes. So anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. And that's it. You'll have yummy biscuits. When these come out, you can either eat them as is, or you can make like a garlic butter or a garlic olive oil to brush on top when they come out. Up to you. But here they go. Okay, so while these are in the oven, I'm going to melt a little bit of butter. It's about a tablespoon uh, because my kids love garlic knots, especially my son. So I'm going to melt some butter and I'm going to put some garlic powder. I'm not going to use minced garlic because he doesn't like the pieces of garlic, but he likes the garlic flavor. So I'm going to do about a teaspoon of garlic powder and I'm going to do a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper and I'm going to melt the butter with the garlic and pepper. And then when the biscuits come out of the oven, I'm going to take my little basting brush and I'm just going to brush the biscuits with the garlic butter. And you just want to melt the butter with the garlic and the black pepper. Um, you don't want to get the butter browned or anything like that. I mean, I, you can if you like, um, but I just melt the butter with the garlic, mix it well, and that's it. Okay, guys, the biscuits just came out of the oven. They were in there for 14 minutes. And now I am going to take the butter garlic mixture that I made and I'm just going to brush the biscuits a little bit with a little bit of garlic butter, just like that. Or as if it was a garlic knot with a little garlic butter. Okay, guys, let's check out this biscuit. So they have a nice crust on the outside, nice golden brown color on the bottom. So let's see. Ooh, they're hot. Ooh, look at that. Piping hot inside. They're soft. Let's see. Mmm. 
the bottom is a little crispy. The top is a little crispy. You know what they remind me of? We haven't been there in years, but they remind me of the biscuits at Red Lobster. Scout's Honor, that's what they taste like. But there's no cheese in here. There's no butter except for the little bit that I brushed on top. I made these with olive oil and skim milk. But they actually taste like the Red Lobster biscuits. These are super good. Love them. Mm -mm -mm. So make yourself some good old fashioned drop biscuits. 15 minutes you have homemade biscuits. And if you want, you can mix some cheese inside these in the dough, but I wanted to make them with skim milk and olive oil, but they're delicious. Super, super delicious. Wow. Hey guys, we're gonna go have dinner and I'm about to serve up these amazing homemade biscuits. Thanks for watching. And I hope you give these simple, easy biscuits a try. Bye.